morning, our dear audience. Welcome to our morning show. We all know about the war in Iraq and the human crisis in war zones. But when you work there, it's a different story. Today, we have Mr. Mohammed Megahed, one of our Egyptian heroes who have, has been working for one year as a communication officer at the United Nations Population Fund in Iraq to tell us about things that we don't hear in the news. First of all, thank you, Mr. Megahed, for coming to our show. Thank you, Ranim, for having me. Pleasure. Tell us about your experience there in Iraq. H how did you travel first? So basically, I started working. I joined the UN in 2008. Uh, I worked for UNICEF Egypt for four years. Then I moved to the United Nations Population Fund as a communication officer, also in Egypt. And then um, they started uh, offering like uh, 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 short missions for uh, young uh, professionals to go to war zones. So I was interested to join, like to see, um, to get the experience of uh, war and understand the kind of dynamics that the war offers there. So I went on mission for three months. And then I liked the kind of work that we do, so I decided to join them. So what kind of work do, we do, uh, do you do there? So basically, I am the communication officer. Uh, what I usually do there is I do a wide range of uh, activities, including writing press releases, arranging field visits for uh, media and journalists, preparing campaigns the, like behavioral change campaigns, we also do um, like the communication part. We also help the local communities, uh, whether inside the humanitarian situation, like in camps or in local settings, to uh, facilitate the entry of their basic needs, including um, uh, the basic women needs. How did the long war in Iraq affect the people there, or their attitude, uh, the humanitarian uh, situation? Basically, people, um, it's a very dire situation. Iraq is, con is considered one of the most uh, complex humanitarian uh, situation. Um, you can see a lot of uh, grief and a lot of uh, pain in, in the lives of people, but also you can see a lot of uh, resilience and resistance. People are trying to, uh, to cope with the situation, and they are um, trying to be more... Um, uh, looking forward to the towards the future for uh, the post ISIS uh, era. So it's a mix between the 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 very tiring situation of war and people looking forward to to the very near end of war to to start their new lives. So uh, the tell us about the United Nations Population Fund. How was it different from working in the same? Uh, organization in Egypt and in Iraq? So basically, Egypt is a development country. You have a stable situation where uh, our main focus is on what we call behavioral change uh, campaigns or uh, activities, interventions, in the sense of we have issues like uh, sexual harassment, for example, where we start doing campaigns in the street, like the Teh Marbuta campaign. We do campaigns w uh, targeting the, the local communities to change behaviors, and it's more of uh, a long-term uh, intervention. While in uh, Iraq, it's more of a humanitarian situation. So the kind of interventions we provide is what we call frontline front emergency interventions, which is basically to meet first the basic needs of the uh, whether the internally displaced populations or the refugees. And then we start uh, focusing on the behavioral uh, issues. But the main uh, activities that we do are more related to uh, meeting the basic needs of people. So how did the, the, the war or the situation in Iraq affect you as a person? Um, it helps you to, to grow in the sense of uh, realizing that um, you see a different uh, perspective of the kind of work you signed in for. So basically, when I was working here in Egypt, the, I really enjoyed what I was doing, but it was more um, uh, focused on campaigns. It was, uh, it, you can take your time, prepare your work and such. But in a war situation, 
you need to be there all the time ready to do your interventions for a communication person like me i should always be ready uh, if there is a like if the word like now uh, the west of mosul uh, uh, retaking uh, uh, interventions military operations are going on so i should be ready and uh, able to issue press releases prepare uh, to cater for the media needs and and such so it's more of a different dynamics uh, on a professional level and of course personally when you be there and see the, gre the, the, the challenges that the people go through while they are in such dire uh, humanitarian need, it helps you to, um, it gives you a different perspective about war. Rather than seeing it on TV or he hearing about it from the news, you are there, you see what's going on on the ground. Yeah. So uh, tell us about your, uh, your so social life there. How is it? Do you go out like here or what? Uh, tell us about it. So basically, of course, in any community, people adapt. So our, like most of the humanitarian workers there, their main goal or uh, aim is to help the people. Uh, our social or personal lives comes second. Um, but yet we try to cope with the situation. So w there are gatherings. We celebrate uh, like uh, international holidays. Uh, like the new year for example we also try to um, bring these kind of uh, celebrations or uh, events or activities sometimes with us to the field in the camps and such to be around uh, the people but like of course it's not like living in a city where everything is peaceful and there is no war it's a kind of a different uh, orientation or situation yeah so um, uh, so um Thank you so much, uh, Mohamed Megahid, for coming to our show. Uh, I really enjoyed your, uh, your input. Uh, thank you, our audience, for watching us. Uh, see you tomorrow.